Hey, my loves. Hey, my loves. Just a little quick video. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be a quick video. So, on um, today's video, I told you guys in a couple of videos back about the corn that used to be right here and right here. So, what I did was I didn't like the kernels. They weren't fully uh, pollinated. So, I just dropped some of the whole kernel in the ground. So, in this video, y'all going to see me pull that up and... Uh, I'm going to add some food to the soil, and we're going to get these babies spaced out and transplanted where they are supposed to go. So make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below. Another thing, another thing is it's been raining for the last three days straight, and the garden is loving it. Let me show y'all the garden. I ain't gonna move from where I'm at, but I'm gonna zoom in for y'all to see. Everything just looks beautiful. Well, I'm, let me go around. Cause I ain't gonna cheat y'all. We still got some watermelons going broke. Even though we had to clean it out and go ahead and handle that uh, blossom end rot. But the key line, of course we're not gonna get no fruit on the key line this year, but uh, after winter, I am gonna up pot it. Grapefruit is doing great. We chose to, and it chose to, to bear fruit this year. It's first year at its forever home. Okay. Everything just looks gorgeous, y'all. And this is the page mandarin. No, this is the uh, Satsuma. Satsuma, y'all yeah, know it went through hell when it first got home. But it's doing great now. Great. Page Mandarin. No fruit on it as well. But doing great. Lots of new growth. Myers Lemon. Just huge. It's taller than me. Yeah, figs. Everything is doing great, y'all. It's raining now. But I'm going to go ahead and get this done. All that hot heat. Y'all remember I pruned my tomatoes all the way back. They just sunburn, burn, y'all. The sun just been hot and it's been cool these last three days. So, they deserve it. But y'all remember I pruned my tomatoes back and I fed them. And look at my new growth and I have flowers now tomatoes are super duper heavy feeders and you have to um, add extra calcium to tomatoes corn is heavy feeders so if you can't grow corn it's because they are heavy feeders you have to feed them and y'all know all our peppers Berries back there doing good and all the trees are doing good. No fruit on the trees this year, y'all. Y'all know beetles tow our ass up. Yeah, we do got one apple. Let me show y'all like one apple. Let me hurry up. Because I got to go ahead and start the video, y'all. But I'm just giving y'all an update. It's raining. It's wet. Look at it. Granny Smith. This peaches apple, y'all. But we have lots and lots of new growth on this on these apple trees. So the rest of them, they had to go through trial and error and get established for this year and next year. So we're gonna jump right on into this video, guys. I'm gonna take the corn out, feed the soil, and uh, space them out. And the ones that don't look too good over there, I'm going to put them in the compost. So, y'all just stay tuned. Okay, guys. We are back. So, what I added was the bone meal and blood meal. I cannot give you the correct measurements because uh, with the flower beads, I don't measure it. I just put in what feels right. If you feel like you put too much, you can always just scoop the top and put it back in the bag. Okay? But uh, I already got those in, and all I'm gonna do is uh, 
Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all what I do, and then I'm we gonna come back to you. Come on. So basically, it's so many mosquitoes out here, y'all, because it's done raining for these three days. So y'all just bear with me. Thumbs up the video if you enjoy the content. Leave your comments down below. I would love to hear from you. All I'm gonna do after that is just mix it in, like. Let's see. I like to get my hands in it, but uh, baby gonna get the rake and flip and fold and you know how he do. But me, I just, you know, mix it in with my hands. So let me get on the next, the other side so y'all can see me pull it out. Hopefully I can pull out a, okay guys, so. This is what I do, or this is what I'm doing in, uh, to transplant the corn. So, come on, baby. Zoom on in. So, what I did was, in front of this batch of corn, I just took my hand and loosened the dirt up. Corn, this is a good size to train with. Really, I transplant when they about this tall and down but this is an okay good size for me doing it outside but i want y'all to see this whole kernel of corn oh it's done already degraded it's done already broke down y'all but you see the corn pieces it's done already broke down there go the corn a whole kernel of corn i was so dissatisfied with the corn y'all I mean, some of it was pollinated and then some of it wasn't. But it wasn't good enough for me. So, I got mad and pissed off and I put me some whole kernels in the ground. Look at that corn. Now, I ain't going to be able to keep all that corn in there. Here go, look, baby, zoom in right here. Y'all see that kernel of corn? That's a whole kernel of corn. And it's still sprouting. So, guys, I'm going to pick through it and keep what I'm going to keep. And you guys just stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to come back when I get most of it done. The girl out here working hard. So, I got it all mixed. I already went through it. I wish all of y'all lived near me. Look at all this corn. All these corn seedlings. I need to give them to somebody. Look, y'all. Whole kernel of corn. That's a whole kernel. Nice, healthy, white roots. These mosquitoes everywhere, y'all. I gotta get to work. So, y'all stay tuned. I'd rather be out here like this than to be in the scorching heat. So, y'all just stay tuned until I get my babies planted. Okay, guys, we back. The mosquitoes over here tying up, but look at them. They tying me up, y'all. They tying up. They bad out here now, especially while it's wet. But, yeah, she gone. She's sticking them in the ground now, y'all. Look how they look. Them from seedling. Whole kernel. We weren't satisfied with the last bag, so what we did was throw the kernels back in there. And look how much we got. Well, it ain't about how much you get. You want to grow something. You want to grow it right. And we trying to figure it out and get it right. So this the next time. But you see how she putting them in the ground, y'all? I'm going to let her go and finish up. Let her get her rows together, and then I'm going to come back to you in a second. All right, family. You see she got the first set in. Look how she got them. They look good, y'all. Now she over there working on the other set. The spacing, I don't know about the spacing. I'm just doing whatever I'm led to do. So we're going to come back to you once we get all those planted, y'all. Okay, guys, we've got some more of them. We're going to get ready to start. We're going to let wifey tell you what's going on. Okay, so I needed a couple of more. So I'm just picking through here and getting the ones that appeal to me so I can uh, 
get them in the ground. I needed a few more. I wish I didn't leave next to me. Because this corn done already started. From Cobb. And I'm glad I chose this rainy, wet day. Because they so easy to pull apart. See, if it had been hot and dry outside, you'd have damaged the roots. And you don't want to do that. Look at those nice, healthy roots. And that's the seed from the car. Nice, healthy, white roots. So y'all stay tuned. Ready? Okay, guys. She over here. She picking some more. This is the last one we getting there. the last one I need, y'all. Oh, these folks so annoying. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up for your girl. Subscribe to the channel for your girl. Leave your comments down below. I'm going to get back with you. I'm waiting on the Lord to bless me with a piece of land. And I'm gone. This is my last one, y'all. And y'all know this sweet corn. So, let me see this better. I got them in. They still standing up over there. And I don't know the spacing. I just do what feels right because I've tried to grow, grow corn before. So, I just do what feels right. I link my um, garden bed videos in this video for you guys to see. But, yep, yeah, that's that. And then I got those. And those are coming on up. Look what I found, y'all, over here in this bed. Before I took all the um, corn cobs out and transplanted, I found two little seedlings. I found two little seedlings, y'all, that lost their way. But uh, I put them right there. Because one thing for sure, I know it's food. But, y'all, this is going to be the end of this uh, corn transplant from Cobb, and I will see you lovely people in the next video. I really, really wish somebody lived near to me so I could have gave them some of this corn. I really do. I'm not going to put no cobs in the dirt no more unless I got some people that I can give it to because it's food. All that is going to be food. So, y'all just stay tuned, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Okay, guys, so on today's video, we are going to be getting some of the corn off. Some of it should have already been off. Look at those. Snag in the corn. Okay, what we're looking for is the super dark and hard silks. And we know it's ready. Of course... You want to pinch it. And see, this been on too long. It's a little cream coming out. Let me take it off so y'all can see. Stop, ghost. See? The creaminess. So we know it's ready. So, let me take off some. Some is ready. And like those there, a little bit more time. It's not dark enough. All right, guys. Let me get to work. Okay, guys. So, we pulling them out whole. Like I said, you want to pull it when the silks are hard and brittle and dark. And that one got two stalks on it. But only one of the stalks. I should have pulled with it. So next time we uh, do the corn. And you see a second stalk growing. You want to pull that sucker on it. Because it's just taking energy from the uh, main plant. But on the main plant, we got two kernels. two kernels so we're just gonna get the dirt 
off the end because we ain't wasting no soil. And um, then we'll get to the corn. Hmm. What is that? Everything. Them beetles. Yep. yep. Everything. They all over there. Throw it right over there. See, that one ready too. Okay. Mm hmm And we know these not ready. That's why I planted some two weeks apart. But these look like they pretty thick. Alright, y'all. Just giving you a little update. Okay. Okay, gang, we finally got what we're pulling today. So this is the first few ones that we planted. And then we planted the other ones second. So those got about a week or so left on it. Now, one thing that we are going to do different next time is watch the corn a little closer as it grows. Because some of them have multiple shoots on it. And we only need the main shoot. And it looked like it make the corn smaller because it's uh, giving so much energy on the, the extra additional shoots. So, for example, this big corn stalk. Well, it got a big one on there. Let me come around so y'all can see. It got a big one on there. But it... They got a little one on there too. And then we all that going to compost. So that was like a, a waste of growth. So that we will be doing different. Baby, come on, open it up. That didn't get a chance to grow to nothing. Let's see what we got, child. First corn harvest. Okay, we got a few bugs in there. Nothing a little water won't rinse off. Baby peeling this sucker on back. And it looked like it was finna start growing another one inside of it. Now, as far as all the kernels getting pollinated, they did not because we have a gap right there. And it looked like we waited too long because you see some kind of sprouting in there. They green. There's like a little baby seedling in there. So technically, we should have already got them off. But this is our first time. What don't kill you, make you stronger. So let's get them all opened up. So give us a few little ticks while we try to get them all opened up. And it didn't get pollinated right there. So what we might end up doing, y'all, is just drying them out and saving them all for seed. So let us open them all up and see what we got.